Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Mm, these cards are just coming out. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. You have someone out here. Uh, someone is going through a lot of emotions, okay? Someone may be feeling like they've lost a very genuine love connection, something very sweet, someone, something of reciprocity. So maybe you were put in someone's life and they didn't know that you were a true gem and they may have worked with other people to, you know, block you, stop you, destroy you. Maybe someone chose money over you with the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Someone decided to go with money instead of being genuine so whatever decision they made to either betray you or destroy you has led to a lot of loss for them they've lost a connection with you some type of friendship something of that nature because you are moving forward with your life due to a decision you made they made as well and it's helping you put an end to a chapter and you're going to be manifesting some type of new reality with a new emperor you could be a queen of cups as well someone very huge nurturing someone very hopeful he may see you as wish fulfillment and you're going to be getting away from this situation and going for the things that you want you're probably more than likely keeping your distance from this person they may want to come towards you but you're like nah i don't want to eh, i don't feel like it you know that's the kind of vibe you're in right now but someone is feeling very disappointed for not you know reciprocating maybe your energy maybe you are very genuine to this person this is the truth coming out maybe now they found out that you are someone very sincere but this person chose to work with either a couple or a community to block you stop you uh, something like that, or even block your ten of pentacles, hinder your ten of pentacles, keep it stuck, keep you keep you waiting. Maybe you were supposed to receive a promotion that was going to lead to some type of wish fulfillment for you, and someone maybe stopped it. Uh, but someone is just living in a lot of regret for not, you know, being genuine with you. Is what I'm seeing and hearing and feeling. Um, they've been working overtime as well to make sure that I don't know if like the two wrong people come together. But some type of collaboration is over. There could be a divorce going on. Maybe the divorce is over. Two people that were once together are not coming together. Um, I don't think this is you. I think this is uh, maybe two people that were supposed to be getting married behind the scenes or two married people getting divorced. What these people also are trying to do is to make sure that you don't receive a contract because whoever this is that's going through some type of emotional loss, having to cut their losses and move on, um... It's that maybe now they want to give you some type of offer and you don't want to offer from them. They're trying, they're trying to figure out how they can come in. Someone's trying to find the strength to come in and kind of balance things out with you. And maybe you're not interested uh, because you know this person betrayed you heavily. They may even still be trying to come in and do you something. So someone maybe even still very karmic and toxic and things like that okay they're trying to make sure you don't receive what is yours you don't receive a contract because they don't want you out here uh being very affluent uh being you know high ranking in society they don't want you being privileged or whatever they're disappointed as well because they know that they did the wrong thing. They chose the wrong person. They partnered up with the wrong person. This person could have been paid as well to accept some type of love offer. Um, whoever they decided to work with is not getting the contract. This could be a woman that was pretending to be you, pretending to be something she's not. This could be a man as well. Uh, maybe I said man and this came out. Um, but this is someone that could have been pretending to be you, <clears throat> pretending to be uh, a queen of pentacles, pretending to be a queen of cups. But she was really just financially motivated and things like that. And the truth is coming out. Um, you and whoever you are supposed to be working with are extremely gifted. You're showing up in the Ace of Cups energy, Queen King of Cups energy, and the High Priestess. Meaning that you two are very powerful Especially if you two come together, oh my gosh, I can see why these people are not happy because they know it's just like a powerhouse couple. 
you two may end up being very influential. Um, maybe they don't want someone giving you a commitment. You're going to get that commitment sis, by your, decided by your ancestors. Judgment made by your ancestors, excuse me. And it is how you are ending this chapter. Embarking on a new beginning. Manifesting something for yourself as well. Um, whoever this woman is, this crazy nutcase is behind the scenes. Could be trying to pay an emperor to come in and take you out. Obviously, it will be an emperor in reverse. Because royal emperors don't even move that way uh so this will be an emperor in reverse that she's paying to come and take you out i think he's probably possibly choosing to move on because i think he's doing the calculations and examining things and he's just like nah, i don't want to be part of that but if he does choose to be part of that your ancestors are taking care of the situation so just yeah this is something that they are paying somebody for behind the scenes. Is that we've done everything else to take this person out. It's not working. Now we need you to go in and take them out physically. Okay. There's some type of uh, message of betrayal that may be coming in to someone. Uh, just be on the lookout about that. They may be bringing something to your attention about how something was taken from you. Something was stolen from you. But you're going to receive the truth and clarity about a ten of pentacles or what a family has been doing. But you're going to be receiving some type of confession, clarity, truth about a ten of pentacles, right? It's going to lead you to have some type of brand new passionate beginning in life. A fresh start. Hope right um you're going to be able to nurture the things that matter in your life you may receive an opportunity that only you can nurture only you can bring to life and it's going to enable you to get away from a group of karmic people there's some type of tower going on or it's about to go on as well um what these people have been doing is trying to wreak havoc in your life but the institution this is not just one person this is an institution that follow a crazy woman or a crazy man to the slaughterhouse and now i don't know what it is they want us to do it's like they're still determined to block you even though karma is playing out in their life like the universe is kicking a s s e s and taking means and they don't feel no way about it they're out here trying to cause a tower for you but there's some type of truth being exposed about you okay and it's leading to some type of ending as far as people trying to destroy who you are slander your character defame you saying that you are someone that's of dark origins and things like that don't know what you're talking about this is because someone has been working very hard to be you behind the scenes um, but people are realizing that this person is not you they're not really who it is they've been presenting themselves to be so this could be like a incompetent person pretending to be competent an immoral person pretending to be moral uh a disloyal person pretending to be loyal whatever it is the truth is out a community will be finding out what it is that's really going on why a woman has been so determined or a man has been so determined to destroy another person and they're gonna have to take a different path this is a narcissist that is just absolutely gun ho on destroying your pathway your opportunities, your offers, someone is in competition with you, someone doesn't bring nothing to the table when it comes to intellect and morals and principles and ethics, um, and they're in some type of competition with you. Uh, whatever direction this woman took, maybe she's even thinking or they are thinking on extending some type of friendship to you. You don't want nothing to do with that friendship. <laughs> You're like, uh, yeah, stay away from me. I'm going over here. I said stay away because you already know these people are karmic as heck. Going through losses behind the scenes, maybe under some type of investigation that's going to cause some type of reckoning in their life. Could be an empress energy behind the scenes, somebody's mother, wife, ex-wife, baby mama, whatever that's going through an ending. I don't know, maybe someone is passing or whatever, but yeah, I don't, somebody's wife may be passing away okay um and this is because of them coming after you there's a king of wands in here that's been causing a lot of illusions and things like that may want to come in to give you some type of offer you're gonna have to move on to i don't know if this person is under some type of investigation yeah he wants to come in give you some type of offer this queen of wands too wants to come in and give you some type of offer you tell them you're not interested because these were people that were collaborating and i don't think it's more so that you're being spiteful or malicious i think you just don't want nothing to do with these kind of people like these are people let's say even if you were friends with one of them they came for a sleepover you got to sleep with both eyes open basically don't sleep at all because at any moment in time they could decide to pick up that knife and do you in um if you god forbid you end up updating one of these people again sleep with two eyes open don't sleep at all meaning 
because at any time they could decide to strangle you or something like that or just put something in your drinks so just be cautious okay with these people coming towards you with their friendships and things like that you're not interested there could be some type of union that's over or coming to an end maybe a masculine is choosing not to marry someone because he just does not feel wholeheartedly that he's supposed to be marrying this person you know like one of those situations where you're coming together with someone and you're just not unsure i mean you're just not sure um if you should be with them and you're more so afraid of calling off the wedding because you don't know you know what's going to happen you don't want to piss people up but you're forgetting that this is your life this is your whole life that you are giving away because you're, you're the one that's going to be committed to this person if anyone is in that situation i will have their other person sign a prenup if you're someone that's very wealthy have them sign a prenup okay you say you love me right you love me yeah okay i'm gonna need you to sign this prenup let's see how what they say i'm telling you okay yeah i think this is not happening i don't think someone is someone this may have to do with a contract it's not going to who thought they were going to receive it so if there's a woman in a community that thought a contract was going to go to her it's not going to her maybe it even has to do with a union he doesn't want to be with her she doesn't want to be with him whoever it is whoever was supposed to be giving the contract is kind of getting away from the situation in a very um crafty way it may seem malicious but nah they're just kind of getting away from these people. And she may be pissed off because he's like, this is the end. He knows that whatever union this is, collaboration ain't going nowhere. This community is not flourishing. This community is not happy. Things are not moving in the direction they wanted it to move in. And that's because whoever has been out here pretending is not someone that's gifted, someone that's creative, someone that's open-minded. This is someone that's just dark. They're just dark. They're trying to put an end to all forms of communications between you and someone. Uh, I don't mean as far as you and this person communicate regularly, but if someone is trying to communicate with you, they're trying to put an end to it, okay? They want to put an end to your confidence as well. They don't want you being independent. They don't want you being out here self-sufficient, being pretty, being handsome, whatever it is. They say they want to put an end to all of that. They want to debt that situation. But there goes your ancestors balancing everything as always and have you out here doing your thing listen 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 we don't got time for the shenanigans today tomorrow or any other day in this age of aquarius we is going to need you all to get your acts together a lot of you in these communities are too old to be doing listen honey listen i'm in my 30s now yesterday i had to was that yesterday or the day before i had to respect my age okay my age told me she said Girl, I said, yeah. She said, you know, you're trying it, right? I said, I know. I know. You got you to gotta sit down. I said, I know. Drink some tea. I know. So I had to sit down, you all. At your age. At your age. Grow up. You all think you're doing something because you're protecting your future when in reality, you're throwing your futures down the drain. You follow a mad woman or a mad man mad hatter whatever she can't even be a mad hatter because the mad hatter is creative as can be that sucker is creative creativity on a whole different level so sorry excuse me i used the word terminology to describe you this mad woman or mad man is i don't even know what the word is it's hopeless someone is very wicked they don't care they don't care about any of you all they care about is themselves and money. You all are just numbers to this person. Or you're just the help. This is one of those people when they look at you, they look down on you. Like, I'm just friends with you because I need you to do this for me. Once you're done doing this, I will not associate with the likes of you. This is one of those people. This is what I've been picking up from this person. So you all are out here gun hold. Uh, helping someone for a cause that you don't fully understand because they haven't been straightforward with you. This is not someone of integrity. Someone may even have legal issues coming in, okay? So you all keep on following this mad woman or mad man down into the slaughterhouse. Don't worry, your, your time is coming up very soon. And this is how you're going to be ending this chapter. So you may want to reconsider your alliances, your friendships, Things you're involving yourself with when it comes to this crazy woman, 
a man that just won't let something go, baby, this relationship is over. This collaboration with you and this institution, this gentleman or whoever, it's over. I don't know how else we got to spell it for you. O V E R. O V E R. If I had time, I would, I would spell it out for you in French and Spanish. But maybe I don't got time. But you know, you speak English. So, I mean, I'm speaking your language. It's over. O-V-E-R. Over. O-V-E-R. Over. Give it up. Listen, I'm telling you. It's over. You're trapped. Ooh, you ain't doing good. You ain't doing good at all. You don't lost a relationship. You're still out here manipulating. Don't lost your mind trying to hold on to the past. The past ain't even trying to hold on to you. Even if it's a person, place, or thing. They said, let me go, be, uh, Bessie. Bessie, I said, let me go, girl. Let me go. Let me be. Okay? Because the past don't went into the future. And the future is looking good for the past. But you're still trying to hold on and stay stuck. Maybe whatever the past is. Is not wanting to be associated with you. You're in some type of old paradigm where you know the. I know I didn't just hear this. I know I did not just hear this. She said the whites had their place in society up above, and the color folks were down there. This is a colorist. God dang. I can't believe I've been wasting my YouTube minutes on a bigot. On a racist source, source spirit. This is what y'all got me out here doing. It's using creativity moments and meanings on a bigot that ain't even worth our time. Baby girl, I don't know what to tell you, but this is the new age, the new era. Everybody is relevant. Ha! Everybody is somebody. So I know maybe there was a times in life when you were Masa. Sometime in your lineage, you were Masa and somebody was your slave, but it wasn't us on this channel or whoever else you're picking on. You was going to have to grow up. Okay? Maybe go on and move on to Massachusetts. You know why my kids and I call them Massachusetts, not Massachusetts? It's because that's where slavery started. And the slaves used to call their masters what? Masa. So, you're going to have to go to Massachusetts. I think they even let go of slavery. <laughs> slavery should be over. <laughs> Massachusetts started it and Pennsylvania ended it. So, maybe you can start in Genesis. Massachusetts will be Genesis. And then make your way to Revelations, which will be Pennsylvania, and get over. Okay, girl. I don't know what to tell you. People like these, oh my God, they're an embarrassment to be around in society. Just an embarrassment. Nobody want to be around you. You can't be out here trying to be creative, but, you're, but you got a fixed mindset. It don't work that way. You can be a fixed sign, like the water signs, okay? You can be, you, you can be a, 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 a a fixed sign. I think the water signs are what Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios. You can be them in your sign, but in your personality and your behaviors, your mindset, you you, you can't just be fixed. It's not just you, baby. The, the people you don't like are the ones that built this country. We, baby, we built this city on rock and roll. I know you all think you came up with all of that, but no, 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 no. It goes back to us now, okay? You can't be hitting people for giving you what it is you never be. Everything you got came from us. How you going to hit us for being fabulous? I know I didn't hear that. She said the, the white folks had their place on top of society and the color folks had their place. Girl, you got us effed up here one in too many ways. We will F you. <laughs> we will F you up with intelligence, creativity, everything. Innovation, inventions, everything. We got you beat. You don't bring nothing to the table. So what you got to say now? And then let's put the pre the obvious out here. Because what I've been picking up on you in the reads, you've been stealing from people. And a lot of the people you've been stealing from is, you see this right here? The fabulousness. Yeah, that those folks. Those the ones you've been taking from. So how you going to be out here hating but wanting to be 
How you going here on the club or you can't get in? You can't even get into the club of the high priestesses, men and women. So how you going to be hidden from the outside? You ain't one of us. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. You can't be out here hating. You want to argue. We can't argue with you because you're one of us. You know how you say we we ain't one of you? <laughs> we ain't one of you? <laughs> you ain't one of us either. Girl. It, but we don't be hating on you trying to take from you and stuff like that. You see the difference there? You don't like us but you take from us. We don't dislike you and we don't care what you got. <laughs> We don't care what you got today, tomorrow, or any other day. Not a man, not a woman, not a nothing. Okay? Not your, not your money. We don't care what you got. Go it on over there. You never, never irrelevant plan because I don't got nothing to do with us. <laughs> Our black folks are the same. We don't care what you got. The ones that are, go get it on the bandwagon or destroy other people are the ones that don't got their senses lined up quite yet. But sooner or later, bless your heart, bless their heart, they'll find out and get right in line and say, mm-mm, I'm done. I'm done with this. No, nah, I don't want to speak to you. Don't call me no... <laughs> don't call me, to text me, to email me. I want to hear from you. If you keep calling me, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call your people. On you, so y'all can sort it out, <laughs> girl. What you out here doing? You can't be, there, girl. This is the, this is 2024, and you're still out here being an assist in this mindset. Tell me a little bit better than them. They're not one of us. They don't belong here. This, girl. Come on, you gotta, you better stop it. You need to cut it. That's embarrassing at your age. And it's people in your community, too, that think just like that. That's embarrassing. How can you all call yourself educated? And then you want to walk around and say that you are high class with that kind of mindset? That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. And that's so sad. You all don't even know how embarrassing it is. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. But let, listen, let me break your heart a little bit more. You know the Queen of Wands you've been hitting on? I'm the one in the reverse. I think you're the Queen of Wands in reverse that's been pretending to be, you know, upright. The the actual one you've been hitting on, baby, they're about to get true love. They're going to have wish fulfillment. They're going to stay committed to their path. They're keeping their contract. They're getting their contract. Whatever contract you've been trying to block, they're getting it. And guess what's happening to you? You're losing everything. You're about to be out here in isolation. I know you're still determined to cause a lot of manipulations and things like that. Has someone isolated, but this is about to be you being rejected out here in Barry's, possibly on World News. You may be on Fox News because, you know, they think just like you. So, birds of a feather flock together. So, you know, maybe they'll premiere you on Fox News. There. Elizabeth. So has been stealing from other content creators for umpteenth years, pretending that she was the one who was created. Elizabeth tried to take out her soon-to-be husband because he decided to not marry her. Elizabeth has tried to steal out of her husband's bank account because, you know, Elizabeth is not worth a dime when it comes to her morals or character or principle or nothing, but she got the audacity to be out here to be a bigot. Girl, you got to stop it. Cut it. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I always feel so embarrassed for racist people when I meet them. I'm like, look, poor little thing. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. That you really think you're better than other people because of your skin color. Bless your heart. You're just so pathetic, ain't you? <laughs> Listen, Elizabeth, I don't know what to tell you, but you ain't getting your wealth. You are is not. You is not getting your wish fulfillment. The ancestors or whoever it is you've been coming after, they said they got options when it comes to how they can wreak havoc in your life. And I bet you 100% from my reads, they've been wreaking havoc in your life. It's why you out here all bothered, feeling stuck, can't move. You know why you're in that situation? Because you put yourself in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't nobody put you in there. You got in there for greed. You got in there because of jealousy, animosity, 
uh, intimidation. You're intimidated by another person that don't know you. Let's say that part again. You're intimidated by someone that don't know you, don't even want to know you because the vibe you be giving up in this read is just that mm -mm, it's repulsive. It's repulsive. Yeah, it's repulsive. Your vibe is offensive, actually. You're out here hitting people because what they're Mexican, they're Asian, they're black, they're whatever. It's it's offensive. It's repulsive. It's disgusting. So you're basically out here trashy, ratchet, but bougie with it. Ugh, that's a horrible. And your class list too? Ugh, that's a horrible com combination. Girl, we can't do you. No. You can't be class classless, ratchet, trashy, but be bougie. That don't go together. Nah. No, 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 no. You, you got it conflicted. You can't be the high ranking in society and be low vibrational. <laughs> Let me quit playing around, girl. Let me quit playing around. Listen, listen. The high priestess you've been hitting on, they're hitting true love. Their creativity is protected by the universe because the universe Fs with this person. That's what they want me to tell you. They say, yeah, that's our peeps. That's our peeps. We Fs with him. We Fs with her. Always. They say they ain't going no mother everywhere when it comes to whoever it is that you're trying to hit on. They F's with this person permanently. They're like, they said, we're permanently attached together. That's our peeps. You ain't taking nothing from them. Nada. Nada. Nada, Elizabeth. You see how empty my hands, my hand is? Nada. Because they say you cannot have what belongs to this person. So this high priestess here, about to be overload on creativity, overload on love, life everything okay and it's the king of cups that wants to be with this person girl please it's about to be love a dub 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 in that land of theirs i don't know what his last name is but mr charismatic mr charm ah you know what the king of cups is mr charming so mr charming okay we're gonna call him mr charming it's about to be love a dub 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 in mr charming land okay Oh, and he finds that woman to be girl. You are done, done. He finds that woman to be beautiful. Um, okay, girl, what you talking about? Listen, <laughs> 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 it looks like it's the end of the road for you. It's the end of the road for you. You ain't getting wish fulfillment. Mm -mm. You are you this uh I'm being told to tell you it's a disappointment. You ain't stealing from nobody, you ain't trapping nobody, you don't got no authority in anybody's life to be doing any of those things. You need to go heal. Your needs to go heal. You needs to go heal. I know you're putting it off. You've been hiding why it is you've been trying to destroy someone. You said they did something to you or they took something from you, and your people were finding out they didn't do nothing to you. Someone don't even know you. Girl, what you talk what you talking about, Willis? Oh, sorry, you ain't Willis, cause you don't like Willis, remember? <laughs> you said Willis is not one of us. I can never be associated with Willis. Willis will never be accepted in this industry. Okay, Willis is black. Girl, you don't gotta whisper it. Say it out loud. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> she said that he, she will never be accepted in this industry. Okay? They're not one of us. They come from the other side. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Girl. They're not like us. They don't think like us. They won't fit in. That man has been trying to give someone a contract for a long time and you've been manipulating. Girl, it's the 20, 21st century, whatever century. It's 2024. People don't care who's giving information as long. People don't care. Who's doing what? As long as they bring quality to the table, they know what they're doing, they have substance, they bring substance to the table, and the company cares if they make them money. So if whoever they're trying to get that contract to is going to be making them lajon money, that's all they care about. The public, baby, the public is catching up. Yo, you and your folks are the ones that are still in the past. You you need to turn on social media. You need to turn on the news. You need to just get out here and see. There are maybe the world is open minded. There's little backwards thinking that you all are stuck in where you think 
you are better than other people simply because of your color, even though you haven't contributed much to society, if we are being frank with it, okay? It has to go. This is this is not, the, the, in this age, it doesn't fit. We're in the age of Aquarius, right? Okay. It has to do with what, like, you know, uh, entrepreneurship, business, commercial success and things like that. You can't, you can't be limiting yourself with that kind of desires and aspirations and things like that. Uh, water and, you no, know, you see water be, I know they say it's a fixed sign now, but you see how water be moving, just going all over. It's the same water just traveling everywhere. That's how open minded you're supposed to be. Okay. I don't mean I don't mean as far as the pack pack and do because there's something up in your mind so every time you come out they just be telling me your business. I ain't talking about the other stuff. I'm talking about, you know, people, cultures. Get over yourself. You you don't bring nothing to the <laughs> You may want to go back in history. I love history. You may want to go and do your history reading and see who invented what. See how many of your folks show up on the page. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Oh, dang. This community is in disarray and feeling trapped. Dang. You know what? I'm out. Thank you all for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.